Okay, I'm going to show you how to change your tubes. How to change your tubes, switch your tubes out on a 1996 Bandmaster black base. It's pretty much the same for Bandmasters, or all the years of Bandmaster silver face, uh, basements, black face silver face doesn't matter, and many other tube heads and tube amps. So, first off, have it plugged in. I don't want it to get too hot, but it's been. I'm gonna show you what happened to me the other day. Basically, I turned on my head, let it warm up, and turned it on, and it was just kind of quiet, almost not even muffled, but just quiet. See, here's one, nothing. There's ten, and yeah, it should be a lot louder. I got um, two ten greenbacks. It should be way louder than that. Obviously, on ten, it should be shaking the windows right now. But so usually, that's a problem with your tubes. I checked all the wires. You know, first off, when that happens, you know. You want to check all your speaker wire if it's plugged in or just anything. Check all your input jacks. I already checked them all. All the inputs are fine. All the volumes fine. Or all the pots are fine. And everything is just that. So I'm going to show you how to replace those right now. Okay. So first hand, do this your amp out. First unplug your amp so you don't kill yourself. Just changing out your tubes. Unplug your speaker cable. So you have more space to work with. Then take your back off. A lot of people don't have them, but I do. Came originally like this, so I like to keep it as original as possible, and it's nice just to have it. Keep your tubes safe. Some stuff going in there and breaking your tubes off. This might be a little warm. Yeah, they're pretty warm still. But it's not big, you just get a little, little bag. Make sure the camera's good on there. Let's see what I'm doing. Put it a little closer, make it a little easier. Okay, yeah, you know, mine are hot because I want to show you what happens when your tubes or one tube goes out so I'm gonna remove the power tubes first they just have their in their prongs and have little clips loose them up like that and this is these two little clips right here so you just pull it out got the prongs right here and then push these outwards and pull down and it comes straight out you don't need a twist or anything you don't twist just pull straight down one. Okay. Take the next one out. So you pull it out. Put these out. Comes right out. Nice and easy. And your preamp tubes. Same thing. Straight out. These ones aren't as warm. Those are the preamps. These things right here, the covers for your preamp tubes. You just unscrew to the left. It has a little spring in there, you can see. Very easy. They all should have them, all four, but I'm missing one. So, 
not a biggie, you don't have to have them, but it's nice to have them. Screw that one, pull it straight out, shoot down. Screw this one, pull straight down. These, over here. Now, What you need for this is you need to have some, you need to have the tubes obviously, but you need deoxit. You want to spray those on your uh, on the sockets before you put them in on the actual tube before you put it in. You gotta have that. It's a must have. I bought these, I bought a little kit, um, JJ tubes from Euro tubes. Got a little fancy on there. Um, it's a good website. They ship quickly and they ship it in a big box full of puffy things that smells like Cheetos and looks like Cheetos to keep your, all your tubes safe. And with your old tubes, you should keep them just in case because I don't know which one went out, you know. Um, keep them just in case. I don't know how you check if they go out, I really don't. Uh, I mean, unless you look up really closely and examine each one and see that they look different. But, um, always keep them, you know, just in case you're doing a gig and one of your go one of your tubes goes out, you can always just replace it for a short time. See, the preamp tubes, you can switch them up and do whatever you want with them, but the two power tubes, they synchronize them, um, you know, they make sure they're leveled out, so you have to get those specific when you have to buy them in the kit you actually have to get two power tubes you know buy them so they're together so i'm just gonna pop these in there some new ones oh whoops almost forgot I'll spray this stuff on there don't forget to spray this stuff in this actually came with a little because they have a warranty for their tubes on eurotubes.com and uh when replacing your tubes you must always clean the tube sockets. Failure to do so can cause tube failure and will avoid your warranty. So, they'll never know. I mean, of course you want to spray it in there just because for your own sake. But say they did go out, you know, within a day or two or something like that. You know, you could always just pull them out and spray a little on there and send it back in like they'd ever know. So, I'm not going to use this straw. I'm just going to see if you can see this. in there. Goes right in there, like that. Like that. Pop that on there. Pop both straight up and twist. Locks in place. Next. Same thing. Quick spray. I can see. I got it all over in the first one, but this one I think it is. Go straight up in there like that. Put the next cover on. Fairly simple job, but you do it for the first time, you just want to be sure you're doing it correctly. And I paid $83 for this kit, which is not bad. Let's bring another one. You don't want to bend the needles either, so make sure you know which way it goes in. Get a flashlight and look underneath there, make sure you know which way it goes in. For the power tubes, I 
some daylight of the power tubes that can come in a nice little paper. There's my beauty, a 6L6 is what I have, what I use, what is recommended for uh, bandmasters and basements and all that. So make sure you get the 6L6 tubes. This. Okay, good. Beautiful, brand new car tube. And here's the last one. And you're all done. There we go. Beautiful, brand new tube. So nice. You see a beautiful, brand new tube. Give it a spray. Last spray. Okay. There. Perfectly. There you go. Okay. Make sure everything's in there good. It's good. If you have a back plate, put that back on there. Actually, I'm going to put this out of it. This way. Again. Actually, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna let this just go out the bottom. Easier. I was like, what the hell? Alright, it wasn't the right spot in the first place. Alright. That's why these back plates can be a pain in the ass. It's really... Only for particular people like myself. Okay. This screw needs to come out. Hardest part is putting this back plate on. Isn't that funny? Alright. Especially if you're doing a lot of gigging, it's just nice to have something guarding. Your tubes. Okay. Bash in. And it also helps people from pulling a tube out. If they want to be pricks or if they just want to jack one of your tubes when you're gigging. Okay. Connect. Speaker wire. Speaker cable. Okay. Again. Put all your old tubes back in the box. 
boxes of the new ones just so you have an extra label them used. Preamp tubes are always good, extra tubes to have considering you don't have to worry about it. Messing up your amp. These back up, still warm. All the old tubes right there. Let it warm up just for a good. You can let it warm up for like 10 minutes, 5 minutes if you want, or whatever, but I'm just going to show you them really quickly. Nice for the business cards so I can remember where I bought them from. Just in case, keep the receipt as well. Here's printed out receipt. All right, used on them, so I know they're used. Okay. Use on every little part of the box, and we're done with that. Put those in my little storage box for a rainy day, for a bad day, or for the next couple days. And these tubes go out on me, and I gotta send them back. Screw that away. Deoxid away. I want for a couple more minutes. Wash my hands off all the deoxid. Okay, let's see how it plays. Moment of truth. There we go. See before, you know, here's that 10. You see how quiet it was now? Listen to that 10. Yeah. It's making my other guitar speak. Everything works good. 